Welcome to Electro Online. Here's a couple more rules. In this case, they're Prada rules for divergence. And yes, this is part one because here we're only going to show you an example for rule number one and then we're going to show you an example for rule number two on the next video. So rule number one, we can see that the divergence of the product of a scalar function and a vector function is equal to the scalar function multiplied times the divergence of the vector function plus the product, the product of the vector times the, in this case, that would be the gradient of the function. The second rule is that the divergence of a cross b is equal to b multiplied via the dot product of the curl of a minus a multiplied via the dot product times the curl of b. So we're going to show you both of those rules via some examples. Later on, we'll show you how to prove some of these things, but at least let's show how that works using an example. We have the a vector and the b vector, which we used before, and now we also have a scale of function defined. So what we're going to do first is calculate the left side of rule number one. So we're going to take the del operator and we're going to multiply that via the dot product of f times a vector. So we're first going to do this part right here. So maybe I'll start with the first part. Let's just start with multiplying this and see what we get. So this is equal to the function, which is 2xy squared. And we're going to multiply that times the a vector, which is minus y in the x direction plus x in the y direction. And when we do that, we simply multiply this times each of the two terms. So this becomes minus 2xy cubed in the x direction and plus 2x squared y squared in the y direction. So that's equal to f multiply times a vector. So now we're going to take the del operator and operating on that product. And so this would be equal to the divergence of that. So now we're going to take the divergence of that product, f a, like this. And yes, we can put that in parentheses. So how do we take the divergence of the product of a vector? Remember, the divergence of vector is a scalar quantity. It's going to be the partial derivative with respect to x of the first term plus the partial derivative with respect to y. Oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Something is wrong, this should be y unit vector. Okay, that's better. So now we're going to take the divergence of that. So this is going to be equal to the partial with respect to x of minus 2xy cubed and then plus the partial with respect to y of 2x squared y squared and then plus the partial with respect to z, of course. There's nothing there to take the divergence of. So what is that equal to? This is equal to... Uh, that would be minus 2y cubed, minus 2y cubed, and here that would be equal to plus 4x squared y. So that's the result of the left side right here, and now we're going to calculate the right side, and that better be equal to what we just found. All right, that means we're first going to take the divergence of a. So let's do that. So now it's going to be the right side which means we're going to start out by taking the divergence of a, which is equal to the partial derivative with respect to x of minus y, plus the partial derivative with respect to y of x, plus the partial derivative with respect to z of 0. And notice that's going to be 0, that's going to be 0, that's going to be 0, so this is equal to 0. And then, of course, when we multiply that times the function, if we now go the function times the divergence of a, and that's going to be equal to the function times 0, which is equal to 0, which means the first part of the right side is equal to 0. Hmm, that doesn't bode well unless this is not equal to 0. So this should now equal the left side. Let's see if that's the case. So that means I'm going to start on the second part of the right side, which I'm going to take the curl, not the curl, but the gradient of f. So this is equal to um, the partial with respect to x times x hat plus the partial with respect to y times y hat plus the partial with respect to z times z hat multiplied times 
the function, which is 2xy squared. That means each of those terms is going to operate on that. And we're going to get a vector out of that. So this is equal to the partial respect to x of this, which is going to be 2y squared, 2y squared in the x direction, plus the partial respect to y is going to be 4xy, 4xy in the y direction, plus, of course, that's going to be 0 in the z direction. So now we have the what we call the gradient of the scalar function. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the dot product of a times that gradient. So now we take the dot product of the a vector and the gradient of f, which is equal to the product of the x components, the product of the y components, and the product of the z components. So that's going to be minus y multiplied times 2y squared plus x multiplied times 4xy and then plus 0 times 0. There's no z components here. So this is going to be equal to minus 2y cubed and then plus 4x squared y. And this better be equal to that. Let's see here. Minus 2y cubed plus 4x squared y. Exactly the same. This is equal to this. All of it came from the second term. So let me just put that in here so we can see that. So the second term was going to be equal to minus 2y cubed plus 4x squared y. And then the right side does equal the left side, which was calculated over here. So luckily, that second term rescued that, the problem. It does show that the first product rule for divergence does seem to work. When we do an example, the left side did equal the right side, so it seems like that's safe to use. Not proved yet, we'll do that later, but at least a good example shows us that that's a good product rule, and that is how it's done. One more for today? Yeah. All right. We'll do part two.